for me, I've watched it grow from a business plan. So there were no people, mm. there was no building, there was Dominic and his secretary. And they went, Dawn, do you want to come and do this? I was like, yeah, that, that looks like a challenge. Yeah. You don't very often get to build something sort of completely yeah. from scratch, right? The whole business, blank sheet of paper, it didn't exist, it didn't exist anywhere in WPP. Somebody just gave you the sort of ability to go and build something and put it together across the world. And it's amazing now to stand back and look at it and think, God, yeah, I, you know, I've been part of doing that. That's been a, a great thing to do. So what keeps you here? Um, it feels personal. It, it feels like it's, you know, it's mine. You know, it's mm. very, very hard. I mean, I've been offered chances to walk away from it and go somewhere else and either A, try and do that again, or B, join something that exists. But whenever I've got to the stage of talking to them, you find what you said before, that there isn't really that same uh, relationship and camaraderie in terms of mm. the network. It doesn't exist. They're too busy fighting each other. They've got their own politics. They're not really working together to solve a problem for a client. And I think uh, that would really sort of get on my nerves. I've, I've got used to this culture mm. of we can be quick, we can be fast, we can make decisions, and we try to do something that's good for the client. Yeah. You know, we, ha we have that, that's our goal. How do we do the best thing so that this client wants to stay with us and wants to move forward with us? Whenever I talked to people about why they came to, or they entered media, it was never actually um, a defined career path. It was something they ended up doing, you know, just by they Dabbing knew someone, and, yeah. or they worked in a creative agency and they've moved over, or et cetera, kind of like falling into it almost. So it's not really about why that I've come to Mindshare, but I think it's more about why I'm staying at Mindshare. And the reason why I'm staying at Mindshare is one, is uh, the people. Mm -hmm. I really like the people. I think it's an organisation that is uh, very focused, very direct, very focused on you know, what are we going to do, let's all do it together, minimal politics, um, and everyone's always accessible. And it's quite fun. It's quite a fun place to be. And we're doing really interesting things. So I think we're doing a lot less of the talking and a lot more of the actual doing. doing. You know, particularly new tools, n new ideas. And we're never, we're never one to shy away from a challenge. Yeah. I think just the fact that we are in this industry and, yeah. and we in, are at the forefront of all the changes. And if you go back to it, it's really the sort of that restless energy and that spirit. Mm. So it's a great network. We're very successful. We've got a lot of global clients, lots of people, many things happening. But I think what keeps me going here is the fact that we don't sort of continue to stay in the moment and say, oh, this is great work, now let's just sit back and enjoy. Mm. There is that sense of restlessness, that energy constantly to say, oh, this is something which was done very well yesterday, but now let's move on to the, like you were saying earlier in the conversation, was the next shiny toy. Exactly. I think that that sort of continuous sort of uh, restlessness and, mm. and uh, I would say not wanting to stay in the status quo is, is probably uh, the biggest attraction mm. for me.